Hello, this is Micah Garcia with One Lazy Diamond Ranch. And I wanted to come out here, guys, and show you a piece of our farmland here. It's one of our fields that I'm currently trying to build the biology of this ground and, and get it to where it'll actually sustain a good crop of grass. But I wanted to show you guys um, the cocklebur infestation that I have and talk a little bit about the pros and the cons to this. So um, last year we didn't have cockleburs hardly at all, but the crop that I grew wasn't very good at all either. It didn't grow very well. And so I recently came out here and I ripped about eight to 12 inches deep throughout this field last um, fall. And then I planted the um, winter crop into it and got, you know, an okay, decent crop. And then um, I planted sorghum sedan into here with some other legumes. And it turned out okay, not great. But what turned out really good was all these cockleburs. They came in really good. And it's because I tilled and it allows the cockleburs to get dirt on top of them and they love tilling. But I just wanted to show you also the reason why I did till is this cockleburr right here that I just pulled up. It, um, the tap root on it has bent over once it hit the hard pan of some of the ground so that's why i did rip was to try to break that hard pan up so if i go on one of those borders and pull up get you what they're supposed to look like a lot of them have a tap root that huh, camera won't focus that goes deep this one broke off but um it usually will go down deep is what the cockleburs do and it actually helps out to break up the hard pan of the soil as well and get a deeper root down in and once this these cockleburs die because they're an annual um they will allow for the next crop to come in and drill their root right next to these cockleburr roots and hopefully I can get um, a better crop of um, that root there's a pretty good one a better crop this spring out of the winter crop I plant and I'm gonna do a heavy legume crop as well into here to try and build the um, try to build up the nutrients level in this field nitrogen and stuff and also another thing this these cockleburs do a lot is they put down a lot of litter on the ground because the cows don't eat them obviously um but it puts down a lot of litter a lot of cover and it, this cover will last a long time because the cockleburs are very very woody the downside of doing this is when you graze, they're very annoying. They will poke right into you. And also, all your cattle look like pincushions. And I'm sure they don't enjoy it. But it is what it is. There's pros and cons to everything, I guess. But so I love them, but I hate them. <laughs> but they are doing their job so all right that's it for now so i gotta go build another pasture for these guys on the other side of the pivot over there and um start grazing on a little bit better sorghum sedan field that i grew so we'll see you guys later don't forget to subscribe and 
hit the like button.